Here's a conversation on the majority report between Emma Vigland and Francesca Fiorentini, who, come to think of it, may be taking Anna's place uh, sooner than later if she does bail. Uh, I would imagine like, Francesca's like pretty high in the rankings uh, <laughs> over there at TYT. Um, but here they are talking about corporate media and the difference between MSNBC and Fox News. Like, the, the critique of corporate media... Yes, you can apply it to Fox, to CNN, to MSNBC and say these are major corporations that are in their they're, they're, they're doing news for profit. And that creates a perverse incentive set. But then there's the massive critique about Fox News, which is separate from the overall corporate media critique, which is that they're a literal propaganda outfit. And conflating MSNBC and Fox News is irresponsible because how? Why? Why? Let's see. She said because. Let, 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 let's hear this. You can the, the criticism of Fox, or the criticism of MSNBC is that they are a corporate entity and that maybe they, you know, work too closely with some of the Democratic operatives Fox well, is on another level. And I hate yeah. the false Possibly. equivalence that I see sometimes Possibly. online. What do you mean it's uh, on another level at Fox News? Uh, who took how so? the press secretary how so? for the for the White House and gave her a show immediately, like immediately after leaving the White House? In fact, that was such a quick turnaround. I'm going to go ahead and speculate that she had the MSNBC gig before she left the White House, which is probably why she left the White House. <laughs> I, th I mean, I don't, that might even be public knowledge. I don't she remember was, the she specifics was at, She that. was asked that, and she denied it. She denied it. Time. Okay. okay. <laughs> she clearly like left the White House for MSNBC. And yeah, right. no, they're a little too cozy with the uh, Democratic uh, operatives in government, but it's on a whole other level at Fox News, right? All right, here we go. Well, 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 not only that, I mean, I have half of their commentators on intelligence and the military too, are, yes. are sitting on the boards of defense contractors. Right. Yeah. And they, they never they never disclose that. Yeah. No. Well, they never disclose that. But also they are ex government officials, you know, themselves who went right. through the revolving door. Don't disclose right. that. And now are giving, you know, quote unquote reporting. All right. Here we go. About that. Oh, absolutely. Also, Fox just lies yes constantly so there's that there's like right. truth a little bit of truth and just all lie all like, well i mean i would say you get a little bit of truth and a bunch of lies on both msnbc and fox news i, I don't right. think fox news is, in, it, it, is unique in that way as someone who keeps an eye on both i would say they're exactly the same on the truth meter exactly exactly the same, the same. And at Fox, yeah. I mean, when, when Tucker was there, you at least got a little bit of, like, red pill reality. Now you don't. Now they have Jesse right. Waters. Uh, right. You know, now it's Laura Ingram, Jesse Waters, Sean Hannity is basically the right-wing equivalent of Joy Reid, Chris Hayes, and well, what is Well, Alex now Wagner they're now? back to, I, you know, I, I would uh, once in a while I would put on um, Fox during the Obama administration. And certainly not to say there were not valid things to go after Obama with. But you would turn on Fox in the afternoon and it would be like they wouldn't even say what he did. It was it was all it was all subtext like, yeah, Obama stopped at this diner and had egg salad. Oh, <laughs> egg salad. Huh? Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> you know, just like, what the fuck are you even talking about? Right. <laughs> so, you know, but MSNBC was the same way with Trump. You know, oh, Trump is in New Hampshire today. Yeah, and speaking to people. Uh, first of all, with with regard to lies, like their flagship story for the first three years of the Trump presidency, RussiaGate was one massive lie, screamed every night at the top of their lungs. The same right. host, their flagship host, see, who they read that agree lie. With that, they were, they went the majority. On, she point. went on the air. And she said, you know, if you get a certain thing, I won't say what it is, certain thing goes right here. Mm -hmm, you get mm -hmm. this thing here to it prevent stops. you from getting the thing, the thing that you prevent from Lots getting this bride. thing, it stops it at uh, someone yeah, who yeah, gets the thing. Want right. to be part of the bad batch of matzo brai. Right. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Get, right. Uh, I mean, that was a lie. You have to, that was you a have lie. Have the, you have to have the cholent to clear up the matzo <laughs> yeah, <right>. brai. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So what are they talking about? What are they talking about? Oh, MSC, MSNBC, they don't outright lie. Again, what of some of the speculation on Russiagate on Mano every night was was ridiculous. It was like a completely dartboard. Oh, so uh, wanted, but that's not a uh, lie. Charlie Day meme, ridiculous sure. levels, and and I okay. I think we've conceded right. that point. Keep Trump going. gets pissed Keep on going. by the lying, Russian hookers. That was I don't I think she convinced herself of a lot of crazy shit. But the lying on Fox News is systemic. 
Yeah, absolutely. And it, uh, that and being it's, said, and uh, it's that Russian stuff MSM. was riveting <laughs> and uh, on not what? Right. No. like what are you basing this take on? How what is you're basing it not this systemic take on at MSNBC? Is your bias? Like they're basic. They don't see the propaganda on MSNBC as being equally insidious to the propaganda on Fox because they generally like Democrats better than Republicans. Right. But if you generally like Republicans better than Democrats, you'd say the exact point in reverse. You sure. would say, yeah, Fox, yeah, they go overboard sometimes, but uh, they're not overt liars, whereas MSNBC, they are. It's just reflective of your preference for one party over the other. And that reflects in who uh, these networks back. The MSNBC backs the Democrats, Fox backs the GOP. And so if you're a Democrat like Emma, you're going to say, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, certain times MSNBC, yeah, they go overboard. They get a little ridiculous. I'm sure the conservatives say that about Fox as well. Right. I'm sure they right. say, yeah, no, sometimes Hannity a bit of, you know, whatever. But, you know, generally it's better than MSNBC because they're just outright liars. Right. Sure. Well, th this is, I mean, building on something we were talking about on the post duopoly show the other day that a lot of these legacy channels, their politics are frozen in the moment that they built their brand. Um, Majority Report is an older channel. So you hear this. This is like a take from 10 years ago. This, this, this is like a take from the Obama era, right? Before people really lost faith in Obama. You know, if, if you considered yourself like one of the smarter people, this would be your take. Yeah, you know, MSNBC, sometimes it's bullshit, but you can't <laughs> compare it to Fox. Right. Like, that's that's what passed for leftism in, like, 2005. Right, right, it, it, right, right, exactly. And so, you know, I mean, that's just indicative of uh, just old biases that apparently die hard. You know, for all this chirping about the difference between corporate media and independent media. I mean, if you're going to try and split hairs in that way, you may as well be MSNBC. Well, it's just it's just these guys are shit lib 2.0. That's a, they're, they're a little younger. Their take is a little younger. They're they're a product of an America that's poorer and harder. So the kind of, uh, you know, boomer attitudes of uh you know michelle rule like that that's not that's not sustainable right i worked hard to be on wall street like they're not they're not going to talk like that they're basically that in a poorer america right so you got to give a few sops to the idea of universal health care and that but they're, they're just basically lips please clap <laughs> 